<laughs> okay. Okay. Hey guys, what's up? It's Liz, and today I am going to be doing a music recommendations video. But I'm a little tipsy, and today I am joined with my friend Morgan. Hello. She also has a channel here on YouTube that you should definitely check out if you haven't already. I will link all of her. <laughs> I will have all of her links in the description box down below for you guys to check out after this video. So definitely go check out her channel if you are interested, which you should be because she is so funny. Oh, uh, thank you. How does it feel to be on my channel? Oh, it feels so weird to be on somebody else's. Oh my god, it's my first collab. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm, oh my god. I'm about to start getting that YouTube paycheck. So. Oh my god. All my 98 subscribers. So yeah, today we are going to be doing music recommendations while we are kind of tipsy. So today we're going to just talk about music that we've been enjoying lately, which I feel like is a very interesting thing. Yeah. On your channel, you're more makeup. Yeah, which <laughs> I'm definitely not, but I do some makeup kind of get ready with me videos on my channel, yours. We well. have the same interests. We just yes. do different things with our channel. Exactly, 100%, because I am more music yeah. oriented on my channel and you're more makeup kind yeah. of like humor makeup humor, humor yeah meme culture on her channel <laughs> <laughs> yeah how about you start first because i've done a few videos talking about okay what doing uh okay so my right now i already know what you're gonna say do you okay trash boat <laughs> <laughs> which is what i knew you were gonna i say. have loved trash boat hopeless records actually sent me their second ep that came Wait, out did they really yeah in 2015 they okay. sent me a few free vinyl they sent me tra or uh brain work which was their second ep released our hopeless back in 2015 <laughs> and like ever since then i've been in love with them and they're from the uk so we they don't really them. come to america we saw them about a month ago yeah we saw them with and movements boston manor and drug church okay they were not that good so it was okay but oh my god i just i love trash boat so much i've always been a huge fan and just seeing them live they're so good live i did enjoy them live i thought they had a great stage presence and i was very into their set yeah. like a lot of bands when i first see them i'm more kind of casually watching just like, like i will watch them i won't stay on my phone i won't talk to a lot of people i'll like watch them but yeah. like they had my full attention the entire time which was great that's all i want from an opener because oh, a yeah. lot of the time they're very boring and like yeah, I do want yeah. to listen to some new music, but sometimes they're just not up to par with what I would like as an opener. Yeah. But Trash Boat was actually pleasantly oh surprising, God. very good, and I did enjoy their music. I've been wanting to see them for like the longest time ever. Oh my God, yeah. They were on Warp Tour this last summer. Oh, I didn't see them and I <laughs> regret it so much. But um, Toby Duncan, if you're watching this, um, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> For me personally, as like a new artist that I've been listening to a lot, I know I mentioned them on my um, like new releases video, which of course I'm gonna repeat stuff because I do that all the time. It's my channel. You like what you like. Exactly, I like what I like and yeah. I can do what the fuck I want. <laughs> <laughs> I have been listening to a lot of <coughs> Alexander 23, which you probably don't know. Mm -hmm. No <laughs> idea. But Alexander 23, I actually had the pleasure of photographing his show when he came to Omaha. Oh. So, do you know who Alec Benjamin is? Yeah. So Alec Benjamin came and played at the Slow Dome, which is a pretty big venue yeah, yeah. for like smaller artists in Omaha, Nebraska. And Alexander 23 was opening for him. Oh, cool. And the publication that I'm signed for, which is Heart Eyes Magazine, which is an online publication mm -hmm. that I'm signed to. Specifically. Hey Liz, can you photograph this show for us? And I was like, sure, I would love to. I have so much anxiety on I I thought it was late, but I was an hour early. It was just so much. And I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. But anyways, the show was actually yeah. phenomenal. Alexander 23 pleasantly surprised me. Wait, what kind of music is it then? It's very like pop-oriented music. Okay. There it's how I would describe his music is let's just say you were maybe intoxicated driving downtown. Driving while the talk of okay, if you're in an Uber driving, okay. like just enjoying the scenic view as you're going to the next bar. Okay. Alexander 23 music comes on. It's very chill. It's not over the top. It's oh, very yeah, relaxing. Yeah. I like that. I'll play it for you. Okay. But we love him. I feel like I have heard Bozzy before. Okay, I just told her that Alexander 23 reminds me a lot of Bozzy, and she said she doesn't know who Bozzy is. Fuck it. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Smile. <laughs> Okay, but anyway, Alexander 23, he's a newer artist. He only has two songs on Spotify. Oh, really? After his Dirty Air Force One song that he had, it was just like, yeah, okay, I fuck with this artist. Like, he's 
so good. She just played it for me. I like him. New fan, yeah. new stan. So yeah, Alexander23 has been an artist that I have been obsessed with for like the past few weeks. Mostly because I can't really obsess over him any longer because he only has two songs on Spotify. But anyways, your turn. <laughs> Next, I want to say I'm really obsessed with Grayscale right now because they just came out with a new song called Painkiller Weather and it's amazing. The lyrics of it remind me a lot of something that 1975 would yeah. yeah, the whole, the heroine I love it a lot, theme. actually. The heroine theme, that sounds so stupid. But it reminds me a lot of something that the 1975 would write lyrically. Instrumentally, no, not at all. I think personally for me, it's been two years since her last release and yeah. I've just been waiting for them to release something new and I feel like this was the perfect song for them oh to actually gosh. throw into the universe and be like, we're fucking back, here's something new, here you go. And I'm like, oh, it's so I'm different here for you. Yeah. yeah. First off, Colin's voice, always mm, phenomenal. Always I great. will always just love his voice. He has a great tone to his oh, singing yeah. voice and I truly appreciate it. I'm but, so excited to see it live. Same. Cause I think they just started same. playing it live. They love their fan base. They're so nice. Yes. A lot of artists are very like, yeah, mm -hmm. They, mm. they don't really fucking care and I'm yeah. like, Grayscale I feel like is one of those bands that really acknowledge the fact that they're here because of their fan base. Yeah, yeah I, I really appreciate that. And even just as people, you can have such a normal conversation with them. I think it was like almost two years ago we were in Kansas City and we were okay. seeing them with Four Years Strong. Yeah! yeah I and love them. See, Nick, he's one of my favorites in the entire band. Like, yeah. I remember seeing him at Warp for like all the five dates I was there. They would always say hi to me when I ate so songs. So nice! So but yeah, we just had a completely normal conversation with them yeah. say, like they were down to earth people they don't really talk down to you because no, yeah. you're, you're, you're their fans but like they talk to you as your, like an actual person and I truly yeah. appreciate that because a lot of bands talk to you as like yeah you look up to me you're here for me and yeah. then for them it's but like they're more we're personal. here because of you exactly yeah. I feel like that's how the main is and I'm so glad oh 100% yeah those, I'm so glad those two are touring together and they're gonna be on the sad summer fest okay. together 10 out of 10 I'm so I love them just are you gonna go to Sad Summer Tour? I think so. I'm gonna try to go. Which one? I don't know. I don't know which one I'm gonna go to. Okay. I don't know if I really wanna go to one. Honestly, the only bands I would wanna see are like on this tour already that we're gonna see tonight. Exactly. Like I really wanna see Grayscale, but I know they're only gonna be at one tour date. No way. Yeah, they're only gonna be on one. Um, but like Mayday Parade, The Main, and like State Champs, I love with my entire oh, heart. Oh, State Champs is on it too. Oh, fuck that band. <laughs> But like I love them with my entire life. Yeah. Like, I've been a fan of theirs since like the Fire Things album. Like I love them. I've been hesitating on which date I want to go to and I have no clue. I feel like Chicago would be the only one that's like the most If you go to Chicago, one. let me know because I'll go with well, you. I've been seeing a lot of Queen. <laughs> have you really? I love Queen. Just I, watch Bohemian Rhapsody, huge fan. I, dude, I, so <laughs> when I first started listening to Queen at the beginning of the year, I had never seen Bohemian oh, Rhapsody. Oh, I actually have never seen that. So it's actually not a terrible movie. I like how you lay your eyelashes. Out. Oh, don't look at those. No. People are gonna think I'm gross. Yeah. <laughs> love Queen. I love Queen so much. I also love a lot of like old rock music. So, oh, me too, actually. Yeah. So I've been listening to a lot of like Cars, Queen, Argo Speedwagon, which I mm -hmm. love Argo Speedwagon. Uh, Next is Turbulent from Waterpark. Stan Waterpark, Stream Turbulent. Um, I will murder you. Money <laughs> shit. Okay. No. Okay. But anyways, old rock music. Check it out. I have a playlist called Throwback, and you need to like check it out on Spotify. Go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna go with Fake Blood by Heart Attack Man. It's this new album released from a fairly new band from Ohio. Have you heard it? Which band? Heart Attack Man. No. Really? I don't listen to a lot. Stuff. It's so good. I don't know. I think I kept seeing people post screenshots of it And so I was like fine. I'll listen to it and it's so good if you like classic pop punk. That's what it is It's not a stop. It's not um, bubblegum rock if you like classic pop punk You're gonna love this album. It's so good half the songs have blood in the title. What does it sound like? If you like so wrong, it's right by all-time low real friends and like knuckle puck. I fuck with knuckle puck. So. I don't really like real friends either, but his. Okay, so real friends new album, like their newest, newest yeah, album. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people like it. Released. But if, if you like it. those bands, you will love this album. It's so good. It reminds me of just oh, like yeah. classic 2007 pop punk. It's great. Oh, you know who else we just saw live? Boston Manor. Okay, with Manor Trash Post. Really good. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so it's good. So good. I'm like, Amazing. Like, Boston. Also, speaking of new music, <coughs> the main's new album, Fire. 
You love Always it. good. Yeah. yeah. Nine minute song that they have. Oh, that one is really good. It, it just keeps you, going on. You're just driving. You're like, it just like, keeps driving on. I'm you're like, like driving. You're like, damn, this shit's so long. <laughs> you're like, damn, this shit's so long. I'm like, damn, I really like crap. <laughs> okay, my grandmother loved the main. <laughs> she loved the main. Anytime. <laughs> my grandma passed away last summer, but like, I was really close with her. But anytime I play the main in the car while I was driving, she would just be like, I love John's voice. It's so like, you can tell that like, he just sounds like a nice person. My mom said that he sounded like an old rock artist. My I grandmother mean, loved my John's mom voice. My really liked the rock at the moment. Really? R.E.P. Speaking of which, Trash Boat and Boston Manor actually were like, who knew Omaha would go off? Dude, oh, the crowd of movements was so good. Okay, they were great before movements came on. Boston the Manor and Trash Boat just like over shadowed. I think so movements. too. Like now that you say that, oh, like it really makes sense because I feel like movements crowd was very kind of like it was very there was like was nobody crowd cool. serving there was nobody stage driving. Everyone was there. I feel like a lot of people were there because of Boston Manor. Oh my god, Boston crowd Manor crowd. it was crazy. Dude. And even trash people I was crowd expecting crowd. to be the only Wait, person which, which crowds are very Boston Manor. Cause oh, I was up, I was at the very front for trash boat because I was like I'm gonna be the only person here that knows them. But like oh my god, it was they're incredible. Boston Manor's album. That Boston Manor, fucks. 100 percent. So good. They're also their stage presence is incredible. Their oh, his bowl cut I love. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who else? Who else? Did I mention trash boat? You 100 percent mentioned trash boat <laughs> the first time your face was on my channel. Um, act up by city code. Do you know that? Big broken big hoe, fast six figures. Right on my ass, so he called his pussy figure. Who else wants to be featured on my channel? Let me know. I need new friends. <laughs> what about the Josh brothers? <laughs> oh my god, 100 percent How do you feel about their new music? What's this the first one that came out with Sucker? Yeah, Sucker. Sucker? I bop. Loved. Bop. It's fucking bop. Cool. Still a bop, but like, it's like a, a lower. <laughs> it's like it's like a summer pool bop. Like if I was in the pool on like a floaty, drinking a margarita. Yeah, I could like see myself hanging out at my cabin listening to that song. And it's just kind of like, maybe not. In that note, we need to end this. Video. Or this is. A Have we recommended anything? Yeah, a trash boat. <laughs> Trash Boat, the main. Boston Manor, Boston the main. Manor. Heart Attack Man. The band Camino, which everyone should listen to already. Uh, Alexander 23. Got his name right, yeah. good job. And then, I don't fucking know after that. I think that's Allie and AJ. I'll listen to their new music. Listen to a potential breakup song. <laughs> Stream a potential breakup song right you now. Said potential breakup strong. Your girl has got to go because we're We need to go eat main. pasta before we go to Grayscale in the main. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and comment down below tell me your thoughts on the video and what you'd like to see next go subscribe to morgan's channel if you haven't already i will leave all of her links and everything in the comments not the comments but i will leave all of her links in the description box down below for you guys to check out if you are interested which you should be subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already i put videos out one or two times a week and you can find me on any of my social media sites at twitter instagram or snapchat at zubethian same way spelled on every single account I hope you guys have a great day today, and I'll see you next time. Bye. I can't. Goodbye. No. Ah!